I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces on the way out. I'll start with this one on top. Shoe fly bottle. Unembossed like usual in the Dakotas. Tool top. Another one underneath it. Drugstore bottle. It's getting earlier. You gotta be kidding me. Last time we probed out a decent sized pit behind where the hotel once stood. It's right here, roughly five by four. Uh, take some marks to the ground to mark it out. We'll get the sod taken off and open it up. The sod is off. Getting some fragments of mortar, possibly from the old hotel building. Got this super early piece of glass. It's a beer from Chicago. Look at that iridescence. This is possibly one of the earliest pieces of glass I've dug in the Dakotas. Hopefully it's a sign of what's to come. It's a bust. There's some 1960s and 70s garbage in here. Plastic. What's unusual though is that this beer bottle fragment came out. This indicates we haven't hit the early pit out here and should be out here somewhere. We'll fill us in and keep trying. This station site is not giving itself up easy. Into another one. This seems to have decent age. I'm not sure if it would be the original, but we're getting turn mold. Glass. Part of a mason jar. It's got some good ground haze on it. It's a newer piece, but it was kind of in the backfill. Getting some china fragments, plates. Got our first full piece on the way out. Looks like a beer bottle of some sort. What do we got there? Machine made. No embossing. Huh. A couple more pieces on the way out. Looks like a whiskey at top. Tooled top. One of the, these B and B oval styles. Full half pint. Got another one. Bottoms blown out. Hmm. Another B and B oval style whiskey tooled top. Looks like we got another one. A couple more.
battle possibly. Watkins. Uh, oh yeah. Watkins tooled top. Circa 1905, 1910, I suppose. And another whiskey. <laughs> Tooled top. Dude, dude. What do, you, oh, what do you got there? Oh, it's broken. You can see the top. Oh, This rock is just jammed in the clay. There we go. Another. Another piece behind it. Let's see if I can get this FW lane out. It's broken, so there we go. FW lane. Sioux City in Colfax, Iowa. Would have had a tooled tub. Kind of a cool bottle. Two towns on it. Three on the way out. This one kind of flip loose. Machine made. Whiskey. That broken whiskey. Another broken whiskey. They weren't very nice to these when I threw them down, I guess. There's one. Another whiskey. Early machine made. Looks like we got another one. To the top. Whiskey. Windows in here, it's just a mess. All right, there's looks to be three on the way out here. This one's already loose. Fong Essence, Detroit, Michigan. Never seen one of those before. And then there's this one. Got some good iridescence on it. Like a drugstore bottle. Wedged underneath the brick. Circa 1915, tooled top. What do we got over here? Chemical bottle. PD and Company. Tooled top. I've dug these before, I couldn't tell you exactly what they are. Some kind of, uh, I don't even want to guess. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> we dug this side down, it's still going. We got one here, one here, and one up here. I'll get this one out first. Another whiskey tooled top. Ironstone fragment. Like an extract bottle. Something's broken. Must have hit the ironstone piece when it was thrown down. 
Broken soda. Rusted can. There are a ton of rocks in here too. Look at that. Oh, here's a drugstore bottle. Circa 1905. Go the rusted can. Hmm. It's kind of cool. Nice amber color, honey amber. Guessing some sort of chemical bottle. MCW. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh, here's another one. Uh, toasted. Another rock. There are a ton of rocks in here that explains why a lot of this stuff busted up. Mason jar. Atlas Easy Seal. That's a big one. Looks to be in good shape. These are almost always broken. Looks like it does have a crack on the bottom. That was for when I threw it out. Still hold though. Awesome. It's like a beer bottle. SBNG Company. Top. Two more pieces on the way out. One's a big old jar. We'll see how it turns out. It's a nice blue color. Looks like another uh, easy seal, probably Atlas. We got that. This one just surfaced. This is broken. This is a little amber bottle. What do we got? 
Kind of early machine made. Little maybe chemical bottle of some sort. I was thinking like bleach, but there's nothing home on it to say for sure. And the bottom's knocked out of this one. Another atlas. Machine mate. of farm equipment to some degree. Let's see what it says on it. Peerless freezer. Jar. What we got? Okay, this one's broken. Broken a uh, Kilmer's swamp root, kidney, liver, and bladder here. And, uh, what we got here? Some kind of medicine. No label. Tool top. just came out. I've been taking down this bench I was sitting on. This one's a tooled top. This one's early machine made. Well, it's about 1915. Oh, there's a little one. A little sample medicine, probably. Is there some writing on it? No. Broken extract. Yeah, I was taking this bench down, they just came out, so might have a few others. Some rusted cans. Probably came from a local general store, probably in Scotland. bottle of some sort. PD and Company. 160 tool top. Circa 1910 on this one. Alright. Two more looks like a liquor flask. Get a tool top, we're getting further down. flask. One of those B&B oval style liquor flasks. Huh. 
we're into the use layer now. See the color? That's uh, outhouse remains. Undigested seeds and shreds of paper. Oh, here we go. Another liquor flask. B&B &B oval. Circa 1915 tooled top. salt or pepper shaker, some ornamental glassware piece. Hmm. Looks like it was ground down right there. That's interesting. I don't know. looks galvanized. Huh. All right, do we get a Scotland soda out of this pit? Intact. Looking good. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Scotland Bottling Works, Scotland, South cool. Dakota. That's good, it's tooled top. Circa 1910. Wow. <sighs> Broken perfume bottle. Another liquor flask. It's a little older, it must have had around for a while before they discarded it. Half of it. Huh. That's older. I don't know, 1870s, 80s would be my guess. It's kind of cool. drugstore bottle. Single lip, circa 1910, incremented sides. Huh. Patent medicine, extract possibly Rawlings. Rawlings, yeah. This was really popular back around the turn of the century. I want to say they were competing with Watkins, but they're definitely uh, selling products simultaneously. Oh, a uh, Bender, Yankton, P. Bender and Sons. They've been a tooled top, AB Company. Extract bottle, tooled top, circa 1910. 
You're recording? I'm recording. Alright. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces on the way out. I'll start with this one on top. Shoe fly bottle. Unembossed like usual in the Dakotas. Tool top. Another one underneath it. Drugstore bottle. It's getting earlier. It's circa 1905. like another drugstore bottle. Huh. That's older. Maybe 1890s. <sighs> Look at all of them. Let's start Pulling these out here, I guess. Another liquor flask. Tool top. Ooh, what is that? Hmm. Maybe some kind of chemical bottle. Really nice amber. a Philadelphia Oval that's a lot better age. Probably 80s or 90s. Could have been a late throw though. Another little one. That's also got some really good age. I wonder if these two were uh, held on to for a while and thrown down. Oh, this just came out a little panel bottle. Some type of a uh, wonder cure probably. Maybe a hair tonic. Not the label, we may never know. Look at this. This is wild. Drugstore bottle. Liquor flask. Blown out corner. Maybe a little sample remedy bottle or an oil bottle. Unembossed. Broken liquor flask. Oh, it's a, uh, what is it? Olympia flask, I believe. 1898 patent on the bottom. Yeah. yeah some kind of beer. A little ointment bottle of some sort. Tool tough. Another liquor flask. Broken soda. Another vineyard. Oh, Chesterman and Company, Sioux City, Iowa. There's a tool top. Let's see. At Seaco, Sioux City, Iowa. out here there's so many pieces slick plate fragments whiskey bottle. This might be English. Not completely sure. Nothing home on it. Pharmacy bottle. Drugstore bottle. Nothing home. Another little one. Here we go. This got... You gotta be kidding me. Dickinson, North Dakota? <laughs> Is it TJ 
Greome. Dickinson, North Dakota. I don't think I've ever seen this one. So uh, that's wild. Someone must have made a trip to Dickinson. <laughs> we got Slick. Keeps going. Got a few doll heads. Look at that. Wow. Stares into your soul, huh? There's another one. Probably German made. That's the size of it there. And does that say Germany? Hard to read. And this is unusual to find all these down here. Wow. Look at that. There's another one over here. So I wonder what happened here. Wow. Really unusual for all these to be down here. Either maybe some sibling threw them down there. I don't know, maybe the kid got in trouble. Or maybe the kid passed away. They threw them down, but uh, maybe have been dropped down by accident. Likely were. You know, this was a time when things were reused and these would have been, I don't know, held onto or donated, likely. Pharmacy bottle, chemical bottle of some sort. Chilled top. Liquor flask. Chilled top. Drinking glass, broken. Flask, tool top. Likely a shoe polish bottle. Machine made. Taking this level down now, this should get interesting just based on how much came out of this area here. Food bottle. Tool top. Set them off to the side. I'm guessing there'll be a few. There's another one. Liquor flask, the tooled top. Broken mason jar. Broken a uh, turn mold ale bottle. Likely English made. Liquor flask, tooled top. Drugstore bottle. Carter's, uh, Sanford's, Sanford's Inc. Liquor flask. Broken liquor flask. Uh, Olympia style liquor flask, patented 1898. Glass figurine, or something. Ironstone plate fragment. What's this? 
peroxide of hydrogen. It sounds so proper. Society lost its class when it started calling it hydrogen peroxide. Huh. Almost looks like it's an applied top jar. Or, sorry, a tool top. Mm, has some strange screw top on it. That's your iridescence. This one's got to be a Carter's. Ah, another Sanford's. Tool top, though. Ink bottle. Ooh. Or that 7 up bottle green piece. I guess it was a pitcher. Machine made, probably shoe polish, blacking bottle, broken mason jar. Based on all this stuff, I think it's kind of safe to say the family was well off. Soda bottles, doll parts, tons of bottles, liquor flask. Mason jar, this thing's super early. Just had it sitting around for a while. It could have been in the station. Huh. Another broken soda. BNB oval, liquor flask. Chesterman, Sioux City. Cool top. Chipped up on the bottom. Think another liquor flask. Yeah, tool top liquor flask. Tool top beer. Ooh. What do we got on it? Oh. Mick Brothers Brewing Company, Freeport, Illinois. Huh. Ironstone plate. What a cool pattern. Jar out once and for all. Got a broken top. Dre Mason. Oh, that's an earlier style than I usually find these in. We're getting down there. We're at bottom on this one side. I'm going to take down the final level here. Got the bottle that's peeking out. Got a shoe fly bottle. Chess Bro Vaseline. I find these in a lot of outhouse pits. All right. Still taking down the level and got another bottle. This one's kind of cool. What's that all about? Oh, Lazelle, New York. Some kind of strange top on it. Closer. Yeah, it's got like a brass top. Yeah, that's strange. Broken mason jar.
There's the bottom use layer. All those undigested seeds. Still drop on this side. Of it. Drinking glass, of some sort. Huh. All right, she's done. Well, the pit finished out. It was about five feet deep, four feet long, three feet wide. Here's the haul. Total of 76 bottles and jars recovered. There's uh, the liquor flasks. Salt glazed piece. Some canning jars. We found many fragments of others. Some chemical bottles, including the peroxide of hydrogen. Some ointment bottles. Bluing, shoe polish. English whiskey, three beers, extracts, drugstore bottles, medicine bottles, food bottles, soda bottles, ironstone china fragments, we found many ornate and plain, some glassware, the doll heads. I concluded from this that they definitely had kids living here and they were likely well off. They had what seemed to be a lot of the fancy amenities of the day. Gotta fill back in.